Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to show you how to automate another test case under the register account functionality. The test case number is 20. So let's get started. So what is this test case all about? Let's try to understand it in a manual way before we start automating it. So what is this particular test case? This is a very simple test case guys where we need to verify whether the privacy policy checkbox field option which is available on the register account page is not selected by default okay when you are trying to create an account okay with the help of register account functionality and all in that register account page this privacy policy checkbox field by default okay should be in not selected state so for that we need to open the application page url like this we need to open the application page url like this once you open the application page url you need to click on my account and you need to select this register option it will be taken to the register account page and simply you have to verify whether this privacy policy field is in not selected state that is in deselected state okay if that is confirmed the test case will pass okay simple we have to go to that and view the privacy policy checkbox option and see whether that particular checkbox option is in not selected state by default it's very simple test case guys let's try to automate this now okay to automate this i'll switch to the eclipse id and here i'm going to create a new class i'll just name this class as test case number i'll give here as a test case name and click on the finish once i click on the finish i'll create a method here that is public void okay verify privacy policy field on register account page like this i'll select i'll just name it and here i'll provide at the rate test annotation and hold the mouse on this at the rate test and import this at the rate test from test ng library and then here i'll write web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver okay web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver then say control shift o then say here simply say driver driver dot manage dot window dot maximize driver dot manage dot uh, okay timeouts dot implicitly wait then say duration dot off seconds then give three seconds here then after that say driver dot get open the application url here whatever the application url that you are going to test copy that application page url and paste it here once you paste it here guys then the next thing here is you need to click on the my account drop menu inspect this my account once you inspect that okay you just need to create an xpath expression by using the text between the tags control f double slash span text function is equal to my account you say okay this will get located once this gets located okay as you can see this particular xpath expression is locating the my account drop menu copy this xpath expression copy this xpath expression and simply write down driver dot find element by dot xpath provide the xpath expression and say dot click once i click on this my account drop menu i need to select the register option inspect this register option copy this it is a link text uh, these are the starting anchor tag and ending anchor tag in between that we have the text between the tags copy that and simply write down driver dot find element by dot link text provide the link text locator say dot click yeah. okay we should be able to select the register option once you select the register option okay once you select the register option i simply will be taken to the register account page and on the register account page i need to verify whether this privacy policy field is in not selected state okay for that to happen directly i need to write the assert statement assert dot assert false okay i'll use this assertion opposite assertion instead of assert true i'll say assert false okay we should get false as a result when we use e selected command on this particular element okay if that e selected command will return false then the test will pass because that option should be in not selected state okay right click on this checkbox field and inspect and uh, it has a name locator copy this name locator and here write down driver dot find element by dot name locator provide the name locator and say dot is selected okay so the is selected command should verify that this privacy policy field is 
not in selected state okay so it should return false guys okay if it was if it is in selected state it will return true but if that checkbox field is in not selected state it will return false but we are also expecting it to be false by default okay so the test will pass okay so this is a very simple script guys there is nothing here okay just apart from the assertion that you are learning where you have to use assert false instead of assert true or assert equals okay that's the only learning you have in this particular topic and also the command that we have used to verify whether that particular checkbox field is in not selected state each selected command will return false here we are also expecting false from the assertion of test ng so the test will pass okay right click run as test ng test and see what is happening here let me run the script and it is opening the browser maximizing the browser you see it was very fast it was very quick and fast and the test got passed guys the test got passed there are no issues so this is how we can automate the test case number 20 okay then what is the next uh, test case so this is how simple the test case number 20 is okay we can automate simple like this and the next test case is the test case number 21 as part of the test case number 21 we have to verify whether there is verify issuing the account without selecting the privacy policy checkbox option okay so do one thing guys you don't uh, you have to go to the same page again the same thing is that you have to come uh, you have to click on my account select the register option you will be taken to the register account page fill all the details except the privacy policy field okay you fill first name last name email telephone password password confirm and then simply don't select the privacy policy field and click on the continue button we should get a proper warning message is a stuff okay is the thing that is expected here we need to open the application url navigate to the register account page enter all the uh, valid new account details into the fields like first name last name email telephone password password confirm and okay what are the options and you should not be selecting the privacy policy checkbox field and then you need to click on the continue button we should get a proper warning message saying that you must agree to the privacy policy should be displayed okay on the page that is only the verification we have to do it's also very simple test case guys let's get started with that let's close this and uh, let's create a new class here i'll name this class with the same test case name okay zero to one okay so here click on finish the test case the class got created we have to create the test method public void verify restring account verify restring account without privacy policy selection okay just give some random name which is kind of understandable at the right test okay hold the mouse on this and import this from test ng library okay then write down the code that is web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver unit write control shift o then write down driver dot manage dot window dot maximize then say driver dot manage dot timeout dot implicitly wait then write down duration dot of seconds and just give three seconds here then say driver dot get simply say driver dot get and give the application page url here this is the application page url you have to give once you give that application page url okay once you give this application page url the next thing here is i need to navigate to the my account uh, register page inspect this my account okay inspect this my account copy this my account option and control f double slash span text is equal to my account okay Co copy this xpath expression copy this xpath expression come back here and write down driver dot find element by dot xpath provide the xpath expression of the my account drop menu and say dot click dot click this will select the my account drop menu then i need to select the register option inspect this register option and here we have in between the link text simply come da come back here and say driver dot find element by dot link text provide the link text locator and say dot click this will select the register option once you select the register option you will be taken to the register account page here you need to enter all the details except the privacy policy field you have to keep it blank you should not be selecting this but all the other details you have to provide so inspect this first name field and here we have the id copy this id guys copy this id and come back here and say driver dot find element by dot id provide the id locator and say dot send keys here provide double quotes and here write down the first name let's say arun okay the brand new details you have to give and uh, 
last name field. Inspect the last name field. You got this idea of the last name field as input last name. Come back here and write down driver.find element. By dot ID, provide the ID locator of the last name field and say dot send keys. And here put a semicolon and write down the last name here. And after that, after entering the last name here, I need to inspect this email field. And email field also has an ID. Copy the ID locator of the email field. Come back here and write down driver.find element by dot ID. Provide the ID locator of the email field and say dot send keys. And I need to generate a brand new email address and enter into this email field. For that to happen, under the utils, under the common utils, I already created a method known as generate brand new email. I'm going to call it that. Okay. To call that, I just need to use common utils dot generate brand new email. Okay. It is a static method, guys. It is a static method using which I'll call the uh, using uh, using the class name, I can call this method because it's static method. Whenever you call this method, a brand new email address with a timestamp will be created so that there won't be any problem while upon creation process. Simple. A brand new email address will be entered for assume, assume that this is a brand new email address we have entered. Okay. Then inspect the telephone field, inspect the telephone field. The, okay, copy this ID. ID locator is there for the telephone field. Simply write down driver.find element by dot ID. Provide the ID locator of the telephone field and simply say dot send keys. And here provide some valid telephone number. Say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Okay, is a valid telephone number we created. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. After that, I need to enter the password, inspect the password. And here ID password is there and simply write down driver.find element by dot ID provide the ID locator of the password field and simply say dot send keys and enter the password say one, two, three, four, five is the password. And after entering one, two, three, four, five as a password, inspect the password confirm field. Here also we have an ID guys, copy the ID of the password confirm field and write down driver.find element by dot ID provide the ID locator of the password confirm field and say dot send keys and here type one, two, three, four, five as the password. Okay. Once you type one, two, three, four, five as the password. Uh, and then you don't select the privacy policy field directly click on the continue button, inspect this option. And here, uh, create an X path expression to locate that continue button. Control F double slash input at the rate value is equal to continue. You see, this is locating the continue button. Copy this X path expression, which is actually locating the continue button and here write down driver.find element by dot x path provide the x path expression of the continue button and simply say dot click <laughs> once you say dot click it will click on the continue button once you click on the continue button okay i forgot to provide at the right here okay that's okay click on the continue once you provide the continue button since you have not selected the privacy policy field we should get a warning message here okay we have to verify whether a proper warning message is getting displayed or not Okay, so this is a warning message we should get guys. Okay, so copy this. Uh, we know that what is a warning message uh, as per the test case one warning. You must agree to the privacy policy should be displayed this is expected warning message. Copy this expected warning message and here write down spring expected. Okay, warning message is equal to and double quotes give that expected warning message and here write down assert dot assert equals assert dot assert equals and here expected warning message you just provide here and the actual warning message is what I need to retry this actual warning message inspect this in the HTML code you see that particular warning message in is between the due tags so I'll copy all these classes of this due tag control f double slash due at the rate class is equal to give that class you see it's locating only one element that is this uh, uh, this warning message element only and in between the tags we have this warning message copy this x path expression and here i need to simply write down that particular warning message is between the tags i'll simply write down driver dot find element instead of find elements you have to write find element guys okay then by dot x path give the x path expression of that uh, warning message element uh, that is due tag of the warning message element and say dot get text. Okay. If that particular text matches with expected warning message, the text will pass simple. Okay. And after that, I'll quit the browser here. After that, I'm going to quit the browser. Now run the script to see whether the test is getting passed or not. Okay. 
when you try to create an account without selecting the privacy policy field, okay, you should get that warning message. And if the warning message comes, then the test will pass. It will be a bit fast and warning message comes and the test got passed. You see, uh, we have successfully automated the test case number 20 and 21 in this session, guys. Okay. It was, there were simple test cases related to the privacy policy field. Okay. By default, privacy policy field should not be in selected state is one test case. Another test case is when you try to create an account by providing all the other uh, uh, valid details into all the other fields and uh, without selecting the privacy policy, we should get this warning message. Okay. So oh, both the test cases we have automated successfully. Uh, so that's all for this session, guys. In the next session, I'm going to show you how to automate another test case. That is test case number 00, uh, 022, where we are going to learn something new here. Here, it's all about uh, checking whether the password, uh, password entered into the uh, password fields in the register account page are, uh, you know, are are hiding the password by toggling the visibility of the password text. Okay. So it may be a bit difficult to, you know, verify that, but let's still, okay. We can still verify. There are some techniques to verify the, whether they are, you know, toggling the visibility of the text that is displayed or entered into the password fields or not. Let's try out all the ways that are possible here to automate this test case in the next session. So for this session, that's all guys. Uh, see you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.